Hi there. I am the professor. I would like to talk to you, the gaming community. Usually, it is Chloe who does these kinds of things, but on this subject I think it would be better if I talked to you directly. I will be blunt. Gamers, we need to stop dividing the gaming community. Now, more than ever, we've become very divided. You have the Microsoft camp, the Sony camp, the Call of Duty camp, and etc. We're constantly at each other's throats, and the game companies are happy to keep it that way. Each camp is blindly loyal to their chosen company. They know this, and they exploit it. They know that no matter how often they screw you, like someone in an abusive relationship, you'll keep coming back, and buy their crap anyway. That is why Call of Duty, as a franchise, has stagnated. And Activision has no incentive at all to change. Why? because they know they have fans who are blindly loyal and will buy every new Call of Duty no matter what. The same holds true for game consoles, and other mega-popular annual franchises. Blind devotion has led to a strong anti-consumer ideology in these so-called fanboy communities. This has led to companies selling unfinished games to justify selling download content, microtransactions and pay-to-win elements in competitive multiplayer games, and etc. Our blind loyalty should be to one another, not to a single company or game franchise. Because whether we play on console, PC, or mobile devices we are all still gamers. Yet, as I said, the game companies are happy to keep us divided. Because if we came together, stopped the flag waving and mud slinging, they would not be able to get away with what they are doing now. We would be standing together, organized, and refusing to put up with being treated like statistics and money fountains. I am not asking for much. Only that the game companies treat us with a modicum of respect. I understand that companies are in business to make money, but there are far better methods than exploiting people. Working together, rather than against one another, we can change the gaming industry. Change it for the better, not just for us, but for the game companies too. Working in game development is incredibly stressful. Tight deadlines and unfavorable working conditions leads to high burnout rates. This leads to mistakes, which appear as game bugs, some of which are game breaking. Look at how many games of serious bugs that launched just this year alone. Fanboy ideology is destroying the gaming industry. We owe it to ourselves to set it aside. Or, in the near future there may not be a gaming industry. Face it, we are headed for another crash, the signs are everywhere. But, we can avoid, it, if we are willing to set aside our hatred and work together. You might ask, this is all well and good but how can we make this happen? Well, next week in our after Thanksgiving Day special that is exactly what I will tell you. So until then thanks for watching. I am the professor, and I'll see you next week. Have you been looking for an online community for gamers that's not full of trolls and doesn't have moderators with chips on their shoulders? Well, guess what? There is one for you. In the description below, you will find a link to Gamers Bay on Google+. We're a community that was originally built with retro gaming in mind, so we have an older membership. So that means fewer trolls and our moderators are very fair. So come on over. Have a great time with us and join the family.